you. To buy gold from me, gold that has been purified by the fire, then you will be rich. Also, buy white garments from me so you will not be shamed by your nakedness. An ointment for your eyes so you will be able to see. I correct and discipline everyone I love. So be diligent and turn from your indifference. Look, I stand at the door and knock. If you hear my voice, open the door and I will come in and we will share a meal together as friends. Those who are victorious will sit with me on my throne, just as I was victorious and sat with my father on his throne. Wow, uh, that's really strong language. I mean, the Greek word for sit, there's no really nice rendering of that word. Uh, I mean, it literally means like to spit out, to vomit. I mean, it's the same word used to describe when someone would try to take a drink of that water. It's, is that word that they would use is just spit back out. And so, uh, you know, I really just want to focus on the first two verses. I know the things that you do, that you are neither hot nor cold. I wish that you were one or the other, but since you were like lukewarm water, neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. Uh, so, these past couple days in chapel, you know, we've had the drama team up here, and it actually uh, inspired me. So, uh, I'm going to give a little demonstration to kind of show this. So, here I have some, uh, some ice cold water, uh, Javier, uh, Javier spoke on Monday, he is going to be bringing me some, some hot tea, and then here I have um, what you would define as lukewarm water, like it was, it was warm at one point, like I was going to use it for the tea, but then it just kind of started to cool off, so, um, you know, first I have this, this hot tea, and, um, you know, it's just, tea is really good, just, I mean, especially if you're feeling sick like me, I'm a little bit nasally this morning, so, I mean, this is good to kind of clear up your system, so that's going to have a little system. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that's just, like, I can feel this warming me all the way up. And this is just, um, you know, absolutely warming me up. And then, uh, right here, I've got the ice water. And especially for a guy like me who's been talking for a real long time, I mean, this is just refreshing. So. Ah, it's warm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's good. Um, and now I have the, uh, I can still, it's still a little bit warm, it's, you know, what I would clearly define as lukewarm. I mean, lukewarm is a warm temperature. Think like, uh, middle of summer, you leave a water bottle in your car for like an hour and a half and you come back and this is, you know, what it's like. I mean, this is what we're talking about when we say lukewarm. So I'm just going to also have a little, oh, that's just gross. I mean, that, I mean, I need to wash that down or something. That's, and, I mean, guys, that's really what God is saying to us. When we, when we try to offer this awesome, holy, sovereign, creator God, our leftovers, when we try to not put him first in our lives, that image that I just gave you, that's what he wants to do to us. And, you know, so you might be saying, okay, like, I understand that, but you said something about, I wish you were hot or cold. And so... Um, are you saying that God would rather me not have a relationship with him than be standing in your face? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because, uh, I, mean, I mean, think about it this way. Um, I'm going to try to paint this picture for you guys a little bit. I got um, another illustration for you guys. And um, you guys remember Javi, right? He came up and gave me a tea. And then, do all you guys know Tony? Tony in the balcony. Can you stand up for him, please? You guys know Tony? He's on the men's soccer team. He's <laughs> All right. So I just, need, I just need a couple faces for this illustration. So uh, we have we have Javi. And let's say Javi meets this girl. And Javi and this girl are just, you know, they become friends instantly. And they, they're just building this relationship. And before long, they start dating. So uh, Javier and this girl are starting to date. Like, you know, that's like the beginning of the semester. So partway through the semester, you know, just the, just Schoolwork starts piling on, you know, Javi's in the playoffs for soccer, and, you know, he just gets really, really busy. I mean, Javi's a busy guy. So, you know, and, and at the same time, his girlfriend gets really, really busy, and they don't really have time to hang out so much, and they kind of start to drift apart from each other. Uh, now, at the same time, Tony starts going after Javi's girl, and, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's really good looking, so I wouldn't really blame her. Uh, but, so, 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 uh, Javi's like, Javi calls her and she's like, hey, you want to hang out? And she's like, no, I'm really busy. Actually, I'm supposed to hang out with Tony tonight. How do you think it makes Javi feel? Tony, you get to dance with Tony. How do you think it makes Javi feel? I mean, 
kind of makes you feel trashy, doesn't it? Like, that's going to make you feel like junk. And, guys, that's really what God's saying. You know, when we put God, our, our first love, if you put your faith in God and He's your first love, He truly is, if you start putting other things before Him, I mean, He just kind of doesn't really like that. And I mean, he, I mean, to the point where He tells us in His Word that He's going to spit us out of His, out of his mouth. I mean, I mean, really, uh, we are God's pride and joy. So whenever we put anything before Him, anything before Him, yeah, we break his heart, guys. Let's, let's, uh, let's take a look at verse 17. And just try to keep in mind this whole idea that we need to put God first. And, and verse 17 kind of tells us, tells us why. Um, verse 17 says, You say, I'm rich. I have everything I want. I don't need a thing. And you don't realize that you are wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Uh, guys, this verse really hit home with the church of Laodicea. Uh, you remember what I told you to keep in your mind about the history of Laodicea? That, that they were um, wealthy, they were the maker of fine linen clothes, and that they had the medical eye appointment. I mean, and yet Jesus uses words like poor, blind, and naked 